I know that we could clearly talk all day. People should buy the book. I, I do want to ask you about um, <clears throat> your own purpose. You know, you stepped down after five years. You probably, you know, some people say 10, some people say less. What do you see as your particular role as a leader right now? I know you're on some boards, you're speaking. What keeps, yeah, uh, what, I, I, what's I driving you, just, you? You probably just, you probably just heard one of my, one of my pitches, right? The concept of, of uh, giving back to my heritage and my community where I haven't been able to really as a public company official, everything you say gets taken out of context. It becomes personal and it becomes muted. Uh, and now I'm free to roam around the, the, the world. So I support the Latino community, not by asking for things. So, uh, you know, underrepresented minorities get very little private equity and venture capital money. So we raised our own venture capital fund and we're supporting Latino and Latina founders. So that's just like, I'm not going to wait for anyone. We're going to do it. We're going to provide this proof. Would you run for office, a, uh, Mr. Munoz, yeah. or no? I don't think so. I think uh, I think I can be much more impactful uh, in many ways in supporting and guiding and advising. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been asked to do many things, including that. I, I just don't know that that's the restrictions that are in place right now that it wouldn't frustrate me more. And I think I can get more done um, in that regard. But there's a you know, there's, there's so many issues that, that help health issues. I'm involved in heavily uh, with regards to bringing awareness to heart health in particular. Um, and then. You know, just uh, there's just so much great need and so much divide. So lending my voice and whatever discourse there is out there to try to bridge the gap, regardless of the topic, so that we can become once again a wonderful, so, great nation of different views, but of the love for democracy in and, American and way. That let me like end. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Listen, I think it's there's you've got a wonderful portfolio of activities. Let's let's uh, give some final takeaway thoughts. Perhaps to other leaders, doesn't have to be within the airline sector, but this is, you know, it's a, whether it's economic headwinds, polarized climate, et cetera. Um, what do you think is sort of the first principles that you'd like people to either take away from the book or for leaders to think about to succeed in this environment in 30 words I mean, or less? Specific, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, specifically with the, you know, the concept of surviving in this environment. I think we, we are in a, in a very turbulent uh, and disruptive state. Uh, the turbulence in the economy is cyclical, always has been. Mm -hmm. And so I think we should be mindful of that in our decisions. Uh, I think with regards to um, how we act and work accordingly, uh, I think it's easy to cut the workforce and do all those sorts of things. And, and some of it needs to be done for sure. But it's also an amazing opportunity. I, I learned, uh, you know, in, in the uh, Japanese language, the, the term crisis is two symbols. It's the symbol of, of danger and the symbol of opportunity mm -hmm. together. And that always resonated with me because in the, in the time of a crisis, there's opportunity. Uh, and so at United, you see us ordering, you know, 700 aircraft and two, two per week of deliveries, knowing that this is cyclical and the world will come back. And so they, to be bold, uh, is certainly, a, a, you know, the, the, the cycle will end. How do you prepare yourself for how it's coming out? And then on the disruptive end, because technology is changing everything and uh, we can be resistant to it, we can avoid it, we can decide we don't want to uh, participate, but it's, it's it's time to embrace. And what are the things that you can do in these downturns to invest for the future? So be active, be bold, know it's cyclical, don't despair, and more importantly, Make sure your organization knows of your positivity towards the future, and they will they will accept it, and they will abide by it, and it will it will actually drive you even you know, a better culture when you come out of this because this too shall pass. I think that I can't be a better place to end than there, um, Oscar Munoz. Thank you very much for joining us. The book is Turnaround Time, and uh, good luck. Look forward to continuing the conversation.